We'll start a new Revit file and draw a new exterior brick on CMU walls in level 1 that we can use to show the different wall tools. You can change the visual display of the detail level to fine in order to see the different layers of wall material. We'll go to the 3D view and take a look at sweeps and reveals. Under the wall tool, sweeps and reveals can be placed on the wall after it has been drawn or placed within the wall type. A sweep is a projection that comes away from the wall and the reveal does just the opposite and cuts back into the wall surface. Select wall sweep and then pick the wall and you'll see that the sweep projects away from the wall. <clears throat> Going to the reveal, the reveal cuts back into the wall here. You can place horizontal and vertical sweeps and reveals by selecting in the ribbon horizontal or vertical placement. Once you've placed a sweep you can pick restart wall sweep to place others and the same applies for the reveals. You can place them in elevation or here in the 3D view to place them on different elevations. If you select one of your sweeps, you can then pick Edit Type in the Properties and change the profile under Construction to a different predefined profile, like Wall Sweep Brick Soldier Course 2 Bricks. When you pick Apply, you'll see that the sweep updates to the new profile. Keep in mind that we may want to duplicate this original sweep. Going back to the default profile and picking apply and OK. If you select one of your sweeps as we already did, you can use modify returns to change the angle of the sweep or the way that it turns the wall. An angle of 45 will look different than an angle of 135. In the elevation view, we can place them on different surfaces, like this sweep that goes all the way across. If we select that sweep, we can pick Add and Remove Walls to select the portion of the sweep that we'd want to remove. As an option, you can use Split Face to split just the face of the material and the Modify tab in the Geometry panel. You can pick Split Face, select the face that you'd like to split, and then use these tools to draw your split face shape. Then pick Finish Edit Mode, and then just underneath the split face icon, there's an icon called Paint. You can change the material, maybe Carpet, and select here the portion of the face that you'd like to change. This is a great tool for sidewalks and splitting the surface of floor material from one room to another. If we draw a wall that's an interior 5 inch partition, we know that at the intersection of this wall, it's going to automatically clean up. If we want to disallow that wall to be joined and cleaned up with this other wall, we can highlight the wall, right click, and pick Disallow Join. Now, as I pull my interior wall close to the exterior wall, it will not clean up. If I select the wall and then 
pick the small toggle here I can join the wall and clean up that intersection also in the modified tab in the geometry panel you'll find the wall joins tool the wall joins tool will help you change the look of these corners wall corners select here the corner and then notice in the options bar you have a butt joint and a miter if you pick in front of miter you'll see that the display changes taking a look at in place walls we can go to the 3d view go to the home tab and pick component model in place we're creating an in place wall that has a unique shape and attaching a category to it it does make a difference what category you pick because it will take on the properties of that category we'll scroll down to walls and pick OK and we'll call this in place wall and then pick OK here you'll see some of the same tools that we used when we were creating mass models and using the create form tool so we're going to create a sweep we can go ahead and select sweep and draw a path by picking sketch path we can draw a path for our wall we can then finish that path by picking here the green check mark and you'll notice that there's a profile here on the path we can select it and pick edit profile and then draw the profile of our wall using these draw tools once you draw the profile of your wall pick finish edit mode and then pick it again then pick finish model and your wall is created if we place a door or a window in this wall it retains the properties of a wall to place inserts and work with wall properties like selecting the wall and picking edit in place and then selecting the wall again so that we can change the material finish in the properties to something like concrete pick OK making sure that concrete does have the surface pattern and the cut pattern as concrete we can pick OK and see that that wall has been changed to the material concrete I can pick finish and see the new in place our new one here let's go ahead and cancel out of that and place a curtain wall over here in space we can go to wall tool and in this drop down go to curtain wall one and place our curtain wall it's like a sheet of glass so in the home tab we can use curtain grid to establish our grid locations for our mullions you can place them horizontally and vertically using several different placement methods and then use temporary dimensions to change the height of the vertical and horizontal grid and then in the home tab you can place mullions by selecting the grid lines the whole grid line or a grid line segment or all grid lines under the placement panel you can also change the type of mullion by dropping the list down in properties to select different types of profiles for your mullion. By selecting a mullion you can change the way that that mullion breaks at the intersection making it go continuously through or breaking it so that the other mullion can go continuously through. We can go to the insert tab and pick load family and under doors we can load the curtain wall storefront double door 
there are other curtain wall families here. With that loaded, we're going to select the panel. And you can do that by either resting your pointer here and tabbing until you get that panel that you'd like to select and then click or you can select everything with the window and use the filter to uncheck everything except for curtain panel and then in the properties drop down you can scroll up to the curtain wall section and pick storefront double door to place your door. You can also select a panel and change the wall type. You can select the panel, pick edit type, and change the material. Duplicating the glass material, you can change the material name to glass custom and then change the render appearance to a different glass glazing. You can pick whatever you'd like. I'll pick green and OK. There are several settings here that you can change for its glossiness and reflectivity. You can pick apply and OK. When you change your shading to realistic, you'll see the material, which will give you an idea of what it will look like when you render your curtain wall. If we select um, mullion and delete it, and want to remove this portion of the grid, we can select the curtain grid and pick Add Remove Segments and then select this segment to delete it, creating a different panel size. There's one more wall tool that I want to add to this uh, presentation and that would be being able to modify the profile of a wall so I can select here one of my walls like this one and pick edit profile. When I pick edit profile I get the magenta and purple lines and I'm in the sketch mode like I would be for floors and other things that we've worked with. So in this way you can come in and use these draw tools to create maybe an arc opening that starts with a line and goes to here uh, an arc and then back to a line. The key here is that it is a closed shape so I have to trim or take out this segment. And one of the tools to do that is to split the element. So if I pick split element I can click here and here and it splits it. Then I can select it and delete it. So now I have this filled closed boundary. I can pick the green check mark and see that I'm creating an opening here. Sometimes when you select a curtain wall and you pick edit profile and you start to modify it like I did on this end, if I decided on something like this and I drag back these lines here, it's going to warn me that it has these mullions that will be taken out. When I pick the green check mark, it says, you know, you can't um, modify it without taking these elements out. So I'll pick delete elements. And then if I wanted to go back to the um, architecture or home tab, I can click on mullion and then select this to replace that mullion. So you can become very creative here in editing these wall profiles just by selecting the wall and picking edit profile and then drawing whatever closed shape that you'd like to use. Going back to this opening, if you'd like to place a material in this opening, then we can go, one option is to go to the wall tool and place a curtain wall and I changed the height to 25 feet just so that it's a little bit taller for me to select. I can then click here inside the lines of the existing wall and it'll warn me that um, I could use cut geometry to embed one wall within the other but another option would be to just change the profile of this one. 
So you can click on it and pick Edit Profile and go to this um, you know, front view and edit the profile. So I can hold my control key down and, and delete all of these, highlight them and pick the red X. And then there's an option here called Pick Lines to edit your profile. So I'll, pick, I'll use the Pick Lines uh, tool to pick these lines here. And then we have this small line at the bottom that we can stretch back to that opening. And now I can go back to the isometric view. There's my shape for the curtain wall. I'll pick the green check mark and you'll see that I have that, you know, that glazing. And so you can decide on your own shape uh, for your assignment. Uh, you can then go to uh, mullion and pick all grid lines and select here and you'll have a, a mullion that goes around the edge. You can also go back to place more grid uh, curtain grids. If in the architecture home tab you pick curtain grid you can then go back and place curtain grid here within this curtain wall. Go back to mullion and pick all grid lines to place your mullions. These are kind of big, it's up to you. If you wanted to uh, select all of them, you could use the filter tool, which is this little funnel icon either in the panel or at the bottom right corner it tells you how many are selected and here you could take out different categories that are selected so that you know that you're only selecting the curtain wall mullions and now you can change here the type of mullion if you wanted to use a smaller one Now it becomes a curtain wall similar to the one that we did over here where you could start to modify the panels and um, edit the profile, giving us many tools that we can use to edit and customize our walls.